Well, it was the 80th night for protests in Portland and new this morning. Portland police are investigating a crash in downtown where they say protesters assaulted the driver. Elise Haas joins us live to break it down. Elise. Jenny, so here at this scene, this is what's left over. You'll notice that the tree, this is where a truck drove into it. You'll kind of see that the bark's missing here, as well as a newspaper stand that's been knocked over. And you'll notice that there's still kind of car parts, as well as like this headlight that's on the ground from that crash. So, Portland police say that this happened at 10 30 last night at Southwest Taylor and Broadway. It's right outside the Columbia store, though it's important to note that the Columbia store did not get damaged in the process. But our Coin 6 News team was here as officers started surrounding this area and securing the scene. And police say that a group of protesters was chasing the truck when it crashed in this area. Officers say the driver was assaulted following the crash. Reports on social media show people hitting and kicking the driver until he became unconscious. The driver was taken to the hospital with serious injuries, according to police. Early on, as this news was breaking last night, witnesses told our Coin 6 news team that the truck tried to run them over. However, officers have not said what led up to the incident overnight. But they say that they are investigating. And coming back out here live, this is also just some debris in the street. You'll notice that there are some fireworks left over in this area. But the thing is, this is actually probably like a nine minute walk or so from the Justice Center. So it's a little bit further away from where we typically see protesters. But we're still working to learn more information about what led up to this incident. And once we get that, we'll bring that to you. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Elise. And the protest started earlier in the night at the Justice Center and included Patrick Kimmons' mom, Letha Winston, and Demetria Hester. Now, Demetria was assaulted by Jeremy Christian a day before he killed two men and injured a third on the MAX train. Well, she's become the leader of the Moms United for Black Lives Matter group and attends protests regularly. This is what she told us about that situation on Sunday. They pigged us out, life. and it was Filthy, just like, dirty, crumb, wow, and how they treated you us. You killed my son and shot him about five that times after part. that. <laughs> it was, was just like, dead. wow, they were looking for us. Demetria was arrested a few days ago during a protest on the east side of Portland, but those charges were...